Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here. And today I'm going to bring you a let's play of my favorite game of all time that you could consider a platformer, side scroller, whatever you want to call it. Sonic 3 the Hedgehog. Sonic 3 the Hedgehog. Hey guys, Zuko here. <laughs> Ugh, God. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with Knuckles, but I'm going to be playing a slightly different version. See, I've seen uh, quite a few people play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or Sonic 3, or Sonic and Knuckles on YouTube, just by themselves, standalone. But I'm going to play something a little bit different. I actually found a ROM hack slash mod that I could get on the Steam Workshop, because I'm playing this on the computer. And it's called Sonic 3 Complete. And essentially what it does is it... Well, that's pretty apparent if you're familiar with the games already. But what it does is it uh, adds in a bunch of content and uh, adds in some remove content that you can't access, that you could only access if you were playing Sonic 3 by itself, like the final fall or the final boss fight uh, during um, launch base zone, which has been shortened uh, since it's technically not the final boss fight for the full game. But essentially a lot of stuff was removed from the game, and uh, yes, that was the super peel out by the way, that's Sonic CD only, and added in by this game. Mod, ROM hack, whatever you want to call it, still cool. But it adds in a bunch of the removed content, and it's, it builds itself as the superior way to play Sonic 3. And I like it, I, actually, I would actually agree, it was a video that I watched on it, and I can't remember whose it was, but I'll link it down below. Um, He's much more popular than I am. I don't even know why that matters, but uh, to his credit, I decided to play it because I was uh, watching his video. That said, I was trying to make a Sonic 3 playthrough before, but uh, after seeing this ROM hack mod, I just I, I had to play this. It was so cool. Um, uh, outs and, and to be fair, it doesn't change a lot on the looking at it, but just adding the super peel out in breaks the game in a whole different way. Not exactly breaks, but it definitely adds a whole new way of playing the game. It's really fun. Um, you can also, which I'll demonstrate later in this episode, I believe, use single player Tails controls, which means Tails is more useful if you're playing by yourself, because before Tails was really just a tag-along partner, which the only reason he is even with us is because I used to play this game. Uh, as a kid, and I would always bring Tails with me because I didn't have a brother or sister to play with me because, you know, being an only child and whatnot. So I always thought it was cool to have an AI partner come around. So that's why Tails is with me, because I know a lot of people don't like bringing Tails because he fucks shit up. And he does! Oh god, does Tails fuck shit up! I have many instances in this playthrough where he screws me over immeasurably, but I would not play this game any other way. I don't know why, but... I don't know, I just, I, I get, I, I enjoy having Tails there. It's just something about having another character play with me. Even if it's not a real person, that I just enjoy. Because, you know, forever alone. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a very social person. I never really was, honestly. I have friends, yeah, but, uh... I was never much of a you know, social butterfly, I guess. I've always been more one who enjoys being by themselves as opposed to with others. But apparently, when it comes to computer-controlled AI, they can never do me wrong, so I'm all for it. But, anyway, I digress. Ugh. Adding the super peel out to this is just... Oh god, it's so fun. It's instantly faster than the spin dash. And it actually has some uses, which you'll see as we progress through the Let's Play. Uh, this is the first mini-boss. You can't kill him. He's pretty much here just to set the island on fire and rub it in your face because you can't stop him! Uh, I always hated that. <laughs> I would, I uh, actually, I have killed myself more times than I admit trying to kill him when I was a kid. It was um, rather embarrassing. Uh, but as you noticed, we have already gotten one special stage done, and there's the uh, flying with tails that I mentioned earlier. We already got through one special stage, and now we're getting the second special stage. And if you're familiar with the Sonic series, you're familiar with the special stage concept. You go through the special stage, usually uh, activated, in this case through the giant rings, but I usually it's activated through the signpost. Um, but you go through the special stage, you navigate whatever particular maze it happens to have laid out, laid out for you, because sometimes it's a maze, other times it's like a mini-game 
uh, half pipe runner, 3D perspective, kind of like this, but in a half pipe. Uh, Sonic 2. If you haven't played Sonic 2, that's what it's from, and I don't know why you wouldn't have. That's a really popular game, but you know, I guess it just wasn't your style. But that's uh, one of the staple elements of Sonic 2, and a lot of people really like it. It's fun. I, however, am a bigger fan of Blue Ball, as it's called. Blue Sphere, because I guess Blue Ball means something else. <laughs> but, Blue Sphere. And, uh, I, this was the first Sonic game that I really, really enjoyed, like, immeasurably. My mom actually got it for the PC, and uh, she got it on disc. It was the Sonic and Knuckles collection, which lets you play Sonic 3 standalone, Sonic and Knuckles standalone, or them both linked together for the PC. And that was the version that I always played. That was my favorite. <laughs> and uh, I would play this over and over. I would play the first stages, Hi uh, Angel Island and Hydro City, over and over and over just so I could play the Blue Sphere Zone. I didn't even know what the Chaos Emeralds were for, but damn it, I wanted to play this game. It was fun. It killed time, and it was something that I could actually, you know, understand what I was doing, because uh, I, I wasn't a dumb kid, but when it came to video games when I was younger, I usually, when I played by myself, I didn't get very far. Not because I was dumb, but just because I wasn't very good. Like... For example, I didn't get that far in Sonic games, not because I was dumb, I knew what I had to do, but 9 times out of 10, I ran out of lives because I just was terrible at precision platforming. In fact, to be honest, I'm really not that great, even as the 22-year-old man I am now, but I'm better because I've beaten the game, so <laughs> I guess, you know, younger me would be incredibly proud of my older self, even though most of every other part of my life sucks. <laughs> Ugh. But, yeah. So, I got very familiar with the first two levels of this game. And, honest to God, the first time I saw Marble Garden Zone, I was like eight. And, oh God, it like opened up a whole new world for me. Because I had no idea how long the game actually was. But, we finally got into the boss of Angel Island Act 1. And, it is a continuation of that little mini boss that we had earlier. Only this time, we can actually kill him! And, uh, pro tip, the fire shield prevents you from taking fire damage. It also prevents explosive damage, and it goes away in the water. Same with the electric shield. Uh, the electric shield also, for some reason, protects you from ice attacks. I don't understand that, but okay. But yeah, so we got through Act 1. Through Sonic 3 Complete, if that's what we want to call it. Um, it makes a the mod. Uh, I'm talking about 30 things at once, and the third special stage is up. We're gonna get the third Chaos Emerald, but... The mod, the ROM hack. Okay, let's focus on that for a minute. The ROM hack, in and of itself, is essentially a collection of tweaks and additions of cut content. And I already covered that a little bit, but... I don't fully know a lot of what you can do with it total, because I'm... Basically, I'm playing through it blind. You know, I'm exploring it with you guys more or less. Um, I did do a uh, run-through of the original Sonic 3 before I played this, but in terms of stage layout, there's actually a few differences. Um, for one, the Sonic 3 stages, uh, just Sonic 3 standalone, actually have a harder variation to them than when s you have Sonic and Knuckles uh, together, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles together. Um, and for this playthrough, I have enabled the Sonic 3 stages um, for make it a little bit harder and give me a little bit more of a challenge. Um, I've changed some of the music that uh, you can access to, and you can you can tweak everything. You know, you can add the content, you can play it standalone, you can access Blue Sphere right away without having to plug Sonic 1 into the Sonic and Knuckles plug cartridge, but... Um, on top of that, if you're playing this on a uh, ROM, or if you're playing this on an emulator that's not the Steam one, you can actually add your own custom sprites, because for some reason, apparently people don't like the Sonic 3 style. I do. I thought it was the best Sonic, but again, this was all probably because it was the first game I played that I remember having Sonic in it. But, you know. So we've managed to get 
three Chaos Emeralds so far, and you can get four in Angel Island total. We will be getting all four, and we will be getting Super Sonic by Marble Garden Zone. Because, unfortunately, I'm terrible at doing special stages. But, so we'll be getting Super Sonic early on, and I will try... I will not use Super Sonic for the bosses, that much I can guarantee you. Um, I will occasionally use Super Sonic in the stages, but because one of the other features that this game adds is the ability to activate and deactivate Super Sonic at will. Sonic has now officially gained control of his Super Saiyan powers and has achieved the full power Super Saiyan Grade 5 state. Or would it be Grade 4? Grade 4, full power Super Saiyan. He can activate it and deactivate it at will. Which is actually a lot more useful than I thought it would have been. Um... When I was younger, and most of the times I got Super Sonic, my usual instinct was, let's get 50 rings, activate Super Sonic, run through the stage, because I don't need to play it, right? But as I got older, I kind of developed more of a taste of actually purposely making games harder for myself. But for the sake of a Sonic game, you don't play Sonic and not get the Chaos Emeralds, because that's how you get the good ending. And this is the fourth Emerald Zone. Um... All the zones are the same for each emerald that you get, so it's not like they're randomized. Um, or it's not like the emeralds are randomized for each zone that you enter. Um, and if you miss the emerald, you don't... Uh, if you miss an emerald, the next time you enter a special stage, you will not go to the emerald you missed, you will just move on. You won't get a chance to get the emerald you missed until you've collected all the chaos emeralds that you've... Um, or all the other Chaos Emeralds, or you've uh, missed so many that it loops, I guess. Because I've never actually missed them all in a single... I've never actually missed seven Chaos Emeralds in a row. I've only missed one, and it just usually loops after I get them all. But, I digress. Um, and uh, there's a total of 17 dif or not 17, god, 14 different special stages in this game alone that you can access together. Um, but you might be thinking to yourself, wait, there's only seven Chaos Emeralds. Well, yes, my friend, but that's something I'll have to explain to you when we get there. There's more to meets the eye than you might think. You know, the design aesthetic for Sonic, especially this game in general, uh, is just... Uh, God, I'm gonna gush all over this game because I, I'm gonna- I'm such a fanboy, but... Uh, let it be known that I am not a Sonic fanboy who is above admitting that my fan base is cancer. <laughs> my fan base is pure cancer. And we've entered a bonus stage! So this is what's replaced, um... The special stage regular access. Uh, you enter bonus stages now. Um, and you get one of three, and, uh, we'll encounter all of them. But, uh, believe it or not, when I was doing my little test playthrough of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, not the ROM that we're playing now, but the normal game, I literally could not get that special stage to spawn at all. I think it's randomized, but it might actually be based on the number of rings you have. I could be wrong. That makes some more sense, but it also might just be randomized. Um, but there's three different special stages, and we'll encounter them all. Um, and I'll explain them as we go on to, or through them, but, uh, generally, or just generally, one's a slot machine, one's what we just saw, which is that little climbing game, and then the other one is kind of like an oversized candy machine. <laughs> um, also, if you notice stutters, uh, a lot of time during recording this, because I live in a very hectic household, I have to pause or I have to go do something, so I had to cut those out. Um, I've also made a habit of cutting out repeat deaths and trying to do something funny with them. I hope you like it. Uh, but, so this is the first boss. He's incredibly easy to beat. Um, as you notice, Tails fucked me up there because he hit the boss, causing him to go into his invincibility state, which made me jump straight into the cannon and lose all my rings. But, fuck Tails! I guess that's what I just deserve, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the first episode, and if you'll stick around for a minute, I'm going to break the game. If you spam jump right as Knuckles destroys the bridge, you can jump off and land over here, and you'll just keep standing here until you decide to jump off and jump into the next level. It won't kill you, and uh, I use this as a time staller, so well, once again, this is my playthrough, and I hope you enjoy it.